for the last three and a half years, I've been sketching fairies. That is not the only thing that I'm capable of doing. However, that's the business that has now grown. And I started drawing fairies 15 years ago. When my daughter, I looked at her when she was a baby and she just looked like a little fairy to me. So I sketched her out and I held on to that picture for the longest time. And then it wasn't until about three to four years ago that I started really getting serious with it. And that's pretty much where it took off from. The inspirations I get for drawing fairies come from everything. There's one car commercial that this car's going down the highway and it just broke off into these like birds and stuff, eh? And I thought, hey, that'd be really cool if I had, if I could incorporate that into one of my paintings. So I did, and uh, not quite the same, mind you, but uh, it broke away in her hair and it was like the butterflies coming out of her hair. So that was kind of, that was an inspiration. The process I go through comes from inspiration from outside, but most times um, it'll come to me when I'm sleeping. I'll get an image of some kind. I'll get up at three and I'll go to the drawing board and I'll sketch something out really quickly. And then it'll go to like just a linear drawing. And then from that process, I'll add the color. And if I like the color, uh, that's good. If not, I'll change it about. And then I will take it to the canvas. And painted and that will be the original that will sell. I have the hard copy that I keep for myself and for extra copies for whoever else wants one. The drive I have to be creative has always been with me. It's a passion and you know what if I want to be happy in this world you've got to do what you're passionate about. I mean it's, it's not worth going to work every day and thinking this is as good as it gets. You know, if I'm going to be on this planet one time, I want to do what I want to do, and I want to be happy doing it. <laughs>